Good morning everybody. Uh, today I want to do a quick demonstration on what we have to do here in California. It's Tile 24, um, this duct blasting. Um, we've had to do this since 2005 and uh, I, I hear it's going to start going from state to state so I'm just going to do a quick video. We got the machine right here. It's the, the duct blaster. I got the ring in my hand. Um, got the computer in there. So what we have to do is we have to go to every vent and and block it. So I want to do that. All right, I got the uh, I got that one taped up to the return. And now I gotta do is uh, I gotta block all these off. So what you do is this is what I do is I'll just put a bunch of it on the wall, and then what you do is you peel it off like this. Uh, the camera set up already, I guess. I guess that's going to be as good as I can get. I'm just go to the vent. I'm going to tape it off. It's just blue masking tape so it doesn't peel it, the paint off oh, when you're done. It was about stepping on the desk. Now we have to do this for every single job we do. Every time we do a change out, a condenser, coil, heat exchanger, this is something we have to do. So you see now that's all taped off. So let me okay. just do the rest of them. I about got it ready to go. So what we do is plug this. Okay. Now let me get the just the form we're supposed to fill out. Yeah, the printer here. Okay. So what? we do is we put the customer's address, the permit number, then we do test it at final, that's what we're doing here. We removed all the supplies, at least one supply and return verify it was sealed up properly. House roughed in, da 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 da. We're not doing a leak reduction. So let's say this, for example, this unit here, we're going to measure it in cooling. Say for example, it's a two and a half, so we 2.5 times 400 it's a thousand CFM okay so we have to be 15% better um, we, we can't have more than 15% leakage so we turn on the duct blaster and um, we're gonna go 25 pascals Okay, and now see it's open, so the configuration is open. So we're going to pump this up so it hits 25. See, it's blinking. So that means we got to put a ring on it. So we're going to put spring number one on it. And we're going to change the configuration to ring one. So it's still too low. So we're going to put ring two. Sounds better. It's still too low. So we're gonna go for a pin. Oh. Don't forget to change the ring too. <laughs> so now we're getting somewhere. 35. So 
it's still too low for rain. Two. We'll put rain three. I'm going to change it to ring three. It's calibrating. So nine CFM, 12 CFM, 17, 18. This is Pascal's. 20 and 25. Twenty-four point nine. So I get twenty-five or eighty. So what we're going to do, we're going to enter tested leakage flow. So we got what was it, eighty? So we come down here. We put eighty here, put a thousand here. So one hundred times eighty equals, and then we're going to divide it by 1,000, that tells us we're at 8%, 8% leakage, so we pass the test, we pass the test, we sign it, date it, three, what the heck is today, 18, and that goes to the building department, actually it goes to a HERS rater. So what we did was we got a tube going up here. Just test the, test the pressure. We're pressurizing the system here. And what I did was I got every single vent taped off. Look at the, the airflow coming out here. That's a, a cling wrap. You can use that. It doesn't work as good. It doesn't stick as good. That's why I had to tape it. But for large areas, uh, even cardboard. Um, so I got all the vents taped off. Got them all taped off. So let's see what's. Okay, I'll rip it open. Let's go see what the test says now. Oh. See our CFM, everything went down. So we have some tight ducts. Open there. Let's see. You guys get the point. Now I have to start putting those bigger rings back on. Uh, but that's how we do. That's how we do the uh, Title 24 duck uh, duck test. Uh, anybody got any questions or anything? Give us a call. Um, YouTube friends. Uh, thanks for subscribing, um, but that's you guys back east. This is coming your guys' way. Hate to say it if you guys aren't doing it already, but I haven't seen any videos on the duck testing, so that's why I wanted to kind of show you guys how we do it. But um, it's not that hard. It's just uh, the prep is the hardest. Once you're done, you just it's easy just to take the stuff down. <clears throat> oh, I got that one in there good. That. Okay, so what what I learned today was our duck work here at the shop. Uh, we got eight percent leakage, which is good. Um, we're supposed to be fifteen percent or better. New construction is supposed to be six percent, but um, if you look, I mean, we're going to replace all this. But uh, our unit, I, I'd guarantee our unit's probably leaking four percent, and then up up around there, it's probably leaking too. The, you know the duct tapes probably come loose in some of the joints underneath the insulation and uh, <clears throat> you can usually tell by if you see the the dust build up right there how it looks worse than right there well what, what that means is that that's the return side so that's become a filter right there um, so it's sucking attic air in and it's using the, the, the fiberglass as an insulation or a filter excuse me the insulation has become a filter you look over there it's not as dirty that's the supply side 
So that's kind of a telltale sign that it's leaking. Um, so we're going to replace this probably probably next month when we get a chance. Um, so we're going to go hard pipe because it's in condition space. So there's no sense of me running insulation, you know, or flex duct. Don't run all hard pipe. I'm going to clean it up, run it straight down, and put DB boxes on top of the office. <clears throat> but all right, guys. Um, Ain't much up else update. So thanks for watching and thanks guys. Uh, take it easy.